Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another True Fixes video. Today I'm going to be working on this PS1 that I uh, picked up from... I don't know where it came from. It's been sitting in my garage for a few months now. I think it was part of a, uh, of a huge lot of consoles that I bought. Every console that I worked on, with the exception of the Wii, was part of that lot. Um, so this probably came from there. I probably paid... Uh, I, I broke it down. Uh, and I think uh, p uh, it averages out to about five dollars for for each console. So this one I could say I paid five dollars for, and it's a PS1 CHPH-01, and this is circa 2000. So this came out in 2000, 20 years old, and I I plugged it in to try it to try it, to um, test it, but it did work, but the cover does not close. It'll close eventually. It seems like the button is stuck. Uh, might might be something sticky in there that's keeping it from coming all the way up. But eventually it'll it'll come back up and then it'll close. But I press it to open it and it doesn't stay. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Cle give it a good cleaning because as you can see it's pretty dirty. Um, everywhere. I mean it's filthy. So use our we're gonna be using our magic eraser to clean it really good. And the good thing about this console is that it hasn't been opened yet because the uh, the uh, warranty seal is hasn't been punctured, and the last screw to open this is right here. So I'm thinking of hopefully, hopefully with some luck, taking off the uh, peeling off the uh, the label with the hot air gun and try to salvage this label. I mean, if not, you know, I guess we'll take it off. But I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that it it actually stays intact. So let's get started. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you do. And if you don't, I guess let me know too. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe, comment, like, you know, all that other good stuff that you do on videos that you like. So, all right, I'll shut up and let's, let's let the ambient sounds take over. Enjoy, folks. Oh, and I'll butt in every now and then, but for the most part, I won't butt in as much. I'll be using this to peel off the, uh, the label. Uh, plastic and if that doesn't work then I've got metal this one is specially made for for taking off labels so we'll try this last I don't want to use it yet because I'm afraid it might scratch the uh, the plastic but if I don't have a choice I'll go ahead and use it we'll start with the with the with the plastic one first Oops.
All right, so here's a view of all the components. Now let's go ahead and start cleaning all this stuff and start putting it back together. Okay, now let's continue with the fine cleaning of some of these spots here. Um, some of these darker scuffs that I couldn't take off, or at least I couldn't see because of the soapy water. Now I could focus on them a little better now that they're dry. So, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a small scuff right here. I'm going to take that one off. There's some here. That blue one there. A couple over here. Some of these are scratches, so they're not going to come off, but... I'll try to take off as much as I can here. So let's start with this one over here on this side.
Okay, let's start piecing this back together. We'll start with the reset button. Let's do the easy stuff first. So that one goes there. Now for the button here, for the eject button, uh, not the eject button, but the um, cover button, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of lube on there, a little bit of silicone lube, just to help it slide a little better. I don't wanna add too much because if you add too much, it's gonna attract dust and dirt, and then it's gonna be counterproductive. So just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way on this. So just a couple of dabs here and here. And that's more than enough. Actually, that might be too much, but let's see here. Yeah, let me take a little bit off. It's good enough. So this one has springs right here. You just gotta make sure that the springs rest against against here, so that way it helps it um, open and close. All right, so let's continue. Clean up my fingerprints.
Time to test it. And now for the moment of truth. Let's see if this actually works. It should. And to test this, I'll be using the controller that I repaired in the previous video. And I'll link that in the description so if you guys, if you guys want to check that out. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot better than what it did when I first got it. So that was a, a big thumbs up on that one. And I will be testing the console with the only game that I have that's not all scratched up is uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash Bandicoot. Coot. 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 What is it? Brash. Whatever. You know what I mean. Um, and as you can see, the, the cover closed without any issue. So that's a big plus. And it loads or it boots. So that's another good sign. And it looks like it's reading the game now. So the game should come up here in a second. In the meantime, just want to uh, say thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like it, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And that helps out a lot, by the way. And yeah, we're good to go. The, uh, the, game, is, the game has started and we have another successful fix. So again, thanks for... Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.